Hey babes, it's Winnie Jean and today I'm going to show you guys my 10 minute wig install routine with this super natural Burmese curly unit from Lavi Hair. So this is the wig straight out of the bag. The knots aren't bleached yet and the curls are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. The cap is beautifully constructed and the lace is a light brown color. There's a 13 by 4 frontal with 4 combs and an adjustable strap. I for sure need to bleach my knots with this unit, so what I'm doing is mixing some super, super thick BW2 powder and a 30 volume developer, and I'm just taking this artist spatula to spread it out really thin along the lace. Now mixing my bleach super thick makes it to where the bleach can't really seep through the knots, so you won't get that over bleached, super wide part look. It'll just be very natural and scalp-like. Now I've washed and deep conditioned the wig and I'm going in with this Diva Curl Super Cream and this is just going to help me define the curls a little bit. I'm only using a dime sized amount, nothing crazy, and I'm making sure to really rake it through and get those curls coated. Now using a Demon brush, I'm combing through and this is just to give it a very uniform look on the top and then I'm scrunching the ends for more of a defined curl there. Now we just have to let it air dry before we install. So I'm just going in with a thin coat of the Got To Be Blue gel. I'm using the yellow one. And this is the unit. She is beautiful. I have just washed and deep conditioned her. And this is her natural curl pattern. I brushed it through with like a paddle brush to get this more wave on top and then the curls at the end. I didn't want anything too voluminous because it's hot. But this curl pattern is so summer, it's ridiculous. And I'll leave all of the um, details for this wig down below. This wig is from Lavi Hair and I honestly like love it. It is their Burmese Curly. And it has so much gorgeous texture that I just literally cannot like even deal with them. Like this wig is really, really pretty. So I'm just lining everything up so I, I can begin to lay the wig. So I'm going in to stick the middle piece first and that just helps me make sure that everything else is on track. And then I start to lay down the sides, including the sideburns. And I just use my fingers and kind of massage everything in. And you wanna make sure that your baby hairs aren't trapped under your wig. And this is what it's looking like so far. I'm going in with my handy dandy spray. And what I like to do for a temporary hold is to spray the... Am I tripping to that? <laughs> Let me go clean off this spray nozzle because if you don't, it starts to... Ain't done nobody need that. So I kind of cleaned off the nozzle. And what I'm gonna do is spray my part. And that just makes sure that my wig doesn't move from this position. And then I spray along the hairline. And honestly, this freeze blast spray has excellent holes. If I was in like an absolute rush and I literally had like no time, but I had to throw a wig on, I would just use this spray. But laying the gel down first really helps you to get everything in place because the gel kind of makes sure that it stays. And before I lay my wig down, something that I've been doing is kind of combing out the baby hairs. So that after I lay my wig, these hairs, I don't have to go and like find them and pull them out of the wig. Cause once you put that freeze blast spray on, when it sets, honey, it sets with a vengeance. And y'all know what time it is. It's scarf time. It's scarf time, it's scarf time, it's scarf time. Where did I get that from? I'm gonna say Jackie. And I will be back in like 10 minutes to show you how I finish off this install. BRB. These curls are just so bouncy. And this unit, I believe, is 14 inches and it's a nice length on it. It's been about five minutes, not too long, because I got stuff to do. If I went outside like this, elbows and throat. So with my spray bottle, I'm just gonna wet my brush. I couldn't find my edge brush, so these edges may not be so magnificent. Because <laughs> I'm 
honestly grown accustomed to doing my edges with my little edge brush. But I'm gonna use this to kind of comb that hair up and back. And be careful not to lift up your gel when you're combing out your edges. final look I'm not gonna cut the ear tabs I'm gonna actually leave them a bit long sometimes I'll cut them to make them into like little sideburns but like I said I'm not going for a super defined look so this is cute this is the final look with my lavy hair this is the Burmese curly 14 inch unit and all the details this wig will be down below in the description bar I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I install my wig when I'm in a rush, like a legit rush. Um, it takes about five minutes, honestly, with no distractions. 10 minutes if you're including the time that you're having your scarf on to let everything kind of dry and set. But the good thing about that additional five minutes is that you can do whatever you need to do in the meantime, in between time, do your makeup, brush your teeth, get your life together, whatever you have to do, anything but washing your face, you can do that within that five minutes. So yeah, this is my 10 minute wig install routine. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in the hair for the third time, maybe the fifth, the details will be in the description bar. Do not comment, ask me where I got this hair from because the details are in the description bar. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Love you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Where you going? Click one of these videos because if you're still here, you know you like this one. Don't lie. Don't lie. <laughs>